Here's verse 31 of the 12th chapter, the Gospel of John. Jesus is making a remarkable comment. It's all been triggered by a request by certain Greeks that they would have an audience with him. But of course, Jesus uses that as a reason to go into a rather extended discussion of the significance of the events that are going to happen in the next several days at the very beginning of Holy Week. He has prayed that God would glorify the name of God in connection with these events, and there's this thundering response that came from heaven that God had and would glorify the name of uh, the, God's own name in connection with the events that would take place. And Jesus now has just stated that uh, this statement was not made out of heaven for Jesus' sake. It wasn't as if he needed some kind of reassurance as to what was going to happen, <clears throat> but rather it was really to uh, give some assurance to the people who were there witnessing all of this. And now Jesus says something even uh, more remarkable, I suppose. You have none. This is the indeclinable adverb, now. And then crisis, the word for uh, judgment. Our English word crisis, of course, comes straight from this word. So now crisis, judgment, esten. This is the... Uh, uh, third person singular of a me i am so judgment is so now judgment is and then to the genitive singular masculine article along with the masculine noun cosmo the uh, the world and then the demonstrative pronoun added to it this so of the world this one so now is judgment of this world uh, now, and Jesus means, of course, that something rather significant is about to happen in connection with the events that are going to take place within the next several days. This is not judgment at the end of the world, otherwise the word none doesn't make any sense. Now there is a judgment, and then Jesus, in a sense, sort of focuses on what exactly is going on. Uh, so the same word again, none, and then ho archon, now the ruler. Uh, the archon of the world, referring to the satanic character, presumably, who is uh, mentioned in the Old Testament on some occasions and certainly was the one who tempted Christ in the wilderness and is uh, regarded as the ruler of this world by virtue of the sinful reaction that took place in the Garden of Eden in which Adam and Eve threw their allegiance behind Satan and in a sense made him the ruler of this world. And that's why Satan could say to Jesus with a straight face at the temptation, these things have been given unto me, I dole them out to whoever I want. So now the judgment to Cosmo, same expression as here, to, to, same thing. So now is the judgment of this world, now the ruler of this world, and then ek blefacetai. This is from ekbalo. It means to, kick, uh, to cast out or to kick out, really. It's a very strong word. Idiomatically, it would be something like that. This is the third person singular future passive indicative. So the ruler of this world uh, future is going to be or is about to be cast exo out. Again, an indeclinable adverb, be cast out. It really is a, a, a repetition of the ek here, stated here. So it's very emphatic. So now, the ruler of this world is about to be kicked out as the idea. This is uh, really the parallel to what we read in the book of Revelation, chapter 12. There's war in heaven. Uh, Satan wars against uh, Michael, uh, uh, an expression, an angelic expression for Christ himself. But he lost his place in heaven. He's kicked out. That's what happened. He was kicked out of his status in heaven. Uh, he winds up on earth. He loses his capacity to be a prosecuting attorney, as it were, in heaven, but kill, still can make a little grief for God's people on earth. This is the judgment. It's the judgment of this world in the sense that there's going to be a radical paradigm change that will take place by virtue of the work of Christ that will take place in the next several days. The establishment of the kingdom is, of course, the dismantling of the old order, and all of that represents one of the most significant, well, probably the most significant disjunction of human history that we could probably contemplate. And so all of that seems to be suggested by Jesus' uh, uh, remarkable statement here.